John David Jack Tatum was born November 18, 1948 to Lewis and Annie Mae star Tatum. Jack attended John Chavis School in Cherryville for first and second grades prior to moving to New Jersey. His Aunt Rosella Star Wilson recalls that Jack's early years teacher was Anna Aretha Patterson. Jack writes, My early childhood memories are filled with a special contentment because my early life encompassed the peaceful Carolina countryside and those fantastic journeys of the mind I made while listening to my grandpa. With all of this, plus good food, a roof overhead, and parents who loved me, what more could a little boy really expect? Jack's aunt, Rosella Star Wilson, the youngest of 11 children, said, Although Jack grew up near his grandmother Star's home, located in Krauss, he was born on the Rash Rudusel farm, behind what was Carolina Electric and is now REA. Jack was delivered by his grandmother Star, who was a midwife. Cousin Henry Star remembers that Jack did not have a hair on his head at birth, and his first nickname was Baldy, which is a little humorous considering how much hair Jack had as he got older. According to Jack's Aunt Rosella, the Tatum family, after Jack's birth, lived on St. Mark's Church Road. They resided in a little house located just past the McGinnis homestead before the bridge. That house is no longer there. Henry Starr also remembers that when Jack was just a baby, his parents, who both worked, didn't have a babysitter for Jack. The Starr grandparents agreed to look after Jack, so Lewis and Annie Mae purchased a black and white TV for Jack, which they placed in the Starr home where it stayed. Henry remembers that he and Jack loved Flicka the Wonder Horse and that they held a lifelong secret pertaining to that series. Henry recalls that Jack's TV is the only one his grandparents ever had. But the summer months were not all work. They did have time to swim in the creeks and fish. Jack had a Cocker Spaniel dog. Henry remembers that Jack always had what is called a temperament and that he got upset one day because his cousins played a trick on the dog by covering up its head. Jack didn't like that. Henry said when Jack got mad, he would chase you all day long until he got you. Jack wrote in his book that when he turned six, everything changed. We moved to Patterson, New Jersey, and traded the cotton land of Carolina for a maze of chipped concrete, broken glass, and gaunt stacks belching out black smoke and soot under crowded tenement dwellings. In spite of Jack's humble beginnings in Krauss, his storied football career was anything but. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped off! Rachel Harris has it! And he's over! Yeah. On the field, Jack's playing style was aggressive and unforgiving. We used to keep score for one point for a limp off. And that would be semi-concussion-y when they'd go off and stumble around stuff. But a knockout was like Tatum's specialty. I play a hard-hitting game. I just like to uh, have receivers think about me a little bit while they're trying to catch the ball. But one play earned Jack a name that would follow him for the rest of his career, the nickname Assassin. August 12th, a year ago, New England against Oakland, a preseason game. Number 14, Steve Grogan, looking to execute a slant-in pattern to number 84, the brilliant receiver, Darryl Stingley. And then this, that collision between Tatum and Stingley. Stingley, now a paraplegic, except for some movement in the right arm. On Sunday, I became what they call the assassin. I was just a tough guy. I was a sheriff in the greater secondary. I was described as, you know, vicious, brutal, and uh, sometimes even a, a little dirty. But I take exception to that. I don't think I was uh, dirty. I just think I went into the whistle blow.
Even after the move to New Jersey, Jack stayed connected to Krause and initially came back to Krause for the summer months to help Wes on the farm. Henry recalls that he was the tractor driver for hay baling, being too small to toss the bales, until Jack came home for the summer. Jack, who was smaller than Henry, then became the tractor driver. Jack's cousin, Shanit Wilson Myers, says that during one of Jack's later visits to Krause that WBTV came out for an interview. She vividly remembers that the family was trying to get the young ones to move to another location for the TV interview, but that Jack was having none of that, and that he picked Shanit up and set her on his shoulders for the entire interview. She says Jack loved to have the children around. Willie Hefner says, I met Jack Tatum when I was in high school and saw him a couple times over several years. Some of Jack's family lived down near the Cherryville Dallas Highway close to Metcalf's store at the intersection of Cherryville Dallas Highway and Tryon School Road. Jack passed away on Tuesday, July 27, 2010, at the age of 61. He died of a massive heart attack, but had suffered from diabetes in previous years that led to one of his legs being amputated. Jack started a charitable group to help kids with diabetes and helped raise more than $1.4 million to fight the disease in the Columbus area. A former teammate said upon Jack's death that Jack gave a lot back to the community, but he just didn't want a lot said about it.